good morning, Sunday morning, Sunday morning. Got the winter willies on. First time mid September. Actually, no, it's nearly end of September. But it's quite. I've had a cold night. I've had three colds in the last maybe month. And I've got another cold again. So, so the jumpers are on. I've got no shorts today. Um, just packed up a Jags. I'm waiting to go to the Bunnet Stain today. A Bunnet Stain adventure across at Gateside. It's just an unusual looking kind of rock, which I think you can try and climb onto, but we'll probably not manage it. But we're going there today, folks. Have a day of fun. Why not? So come with us. Let's see what today's adventure brings. Here they come, folks. Kevin and Perry. Right, after a disastrous drive by Jag, missing the turn off three times and going about 90 mile an hour in a 30 mile zone. This is where we are folks, we're parked in the, the multi-storey car park here at uh, the Bonnet Stain. So it's about a 20 minute walk up there, half an hour walk. So see if these two manage it before moaning or falling over or crying. And um, this is our first, our first road, we've not been here before folks, so it's a new Adventure. Hi, right, just to give you an update, folks. We've been here for 25 minutes and we still haven't left the car because Jag's looking for gloves, hat, glasses, shoes, camera. Have you got them here? Honestly, folks. So I've got a lot with. Okay, watch, folks. This uh, cow is watching us. Right, let me stay to go over here, folks. Oh, I'm stinking over here, man. Is it? Hurry up! <laughs> then just up there over the hill, folks. It's the stain. There she comes. I sense a moon coming on. Look how high you are, folks. This that's a gate sign, I think, down there. Folks, it was my worst nightmare there. The cows have charged, charged across the field uh, in front of the bonnet stain. There were some dogs just there a minute ago, and the cows are coming towards the dogs. And uh, they might move away again, so we'll go back and we'll give it a go. Where's Jack? He's going for it, I think. Right, let's give it a go. Right, Jack's going for it. There he goes. He's going to be first to the bonnet stain. So there it is, folks. There's the stain. Jack's first there, Rosie's still stuck in the other field. There it is folks, there's one part of the, the bonnet stain. We've made it past the cows, yes. Right, there's Jack folks, beside the stain. Right, I'm going up, I'm going up. Yes. Jack's first to touch it. Right. Good. There it is. So you can actually climb from there, from about there, onto the stain, but I think it's very dangerous, folks. There's got to be some kind of. Uh, oh, is cow dung up here? What the hell did cows got up here? Oh. Folks, there's a huge gap from there. Onto there, you can actually get onto it, but you've got to be a bit of an athlete, so uh, I'm not going to risk. Uh, I'm not going to risk going from there to there. It's too much. Right on the edge. Yeah, um, that's interesting. It's very peculiar. 
There's Jack. I don't understand why. That's all he scratches. What evil romance. The cave you can see is known as the Maiden Bower. It's tailor's sad romance. My local girl left us on a rival path. There's the entrance to the right, cave, folks. It's right underneath the bonnet stain. Um, Maidens. What do you say it was called? The Maidens Cave. The Maidens Bower. Maidens Bower. It's the Maidens Bower, folks. Right, after our cow, fi cow fiasco, our cow carasco, uh, we're just back at the car, folks. We made it through. We went to a wee detour through the cabbage patch, cabbage patch field, and uh, we made it back to the car. So, I'm going to give this a mark on the spizometer. I don't know what Jag's done, but I'm going to give this an 8, folks, because I liked it. I liked it because it's been a bit longer on there, but a certain person was faffing about and kind of wanted to get away. So, so uh, I'm going to give it an 8. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Right, so scones and coffee there, folks. Check out Jag's channel for the uh, comments. Um, I'm going for the sympathy vote today because I've had my uh, lunch paid for me. Now I'm going to try and scrounge some food at the uh, at the, uh, the food festival here at the Newport Hotel. <laughs> Try to get something for my tea now as well.